Hey, yo, this is the motherfucking Butch Queen Captain Bodyguard. I'm on Hashtag Verse TV. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe while you at it, man. You can only do that. Verse TV is the vibes, man. Bodyguard's here, so I'm telling you it's the vibes. Thank you for tuning in at Hashtag Verse TV, week 137. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Hashtag Verse TV, uh, week 137. This is Chrissy Marie um, with the Homeless Talk Show. Uh, and hashtag all the tea. Um, I'm here with my good friend, bodyguard, and exec- exceptional artist. Say he- uh, hello to everyone, bodyguard. Hello, every verse TV. This is bodyguard here. I'm excited to, you know, let y'all know, get into my world and let, let y'all know what I got going on. All right. Thank you so much for being here with us today on uh, hashtag verse TV. Uh, let's dig into hashtag all the tea, bodyguard. So okay. for our audience who may not yet know, where are you from? So I'm from Sea Pleasant, Maryland. Um, it's uh, it's borderline. So I I would say the DMV. So most people are more familiar with the DMV, which is the D- DC, Maryland, Virginia. Um, so where I'm from is Sea Pleasant. It's like literally on the borderline of DC. So yeah. Okay. But I live in I live in California. Okay. Now, what do you love most about where your residence journey has you? Um, is it's humbled me, you know, growing up where I'm from, like I said, I'm from C my from both of my parents, my entire family is from Washington, DC. I was actually born in DC, but I was raised in C Pleasant, Maryland, which is not too far. Like literally, it's like it's kind of like you can walk to uh northeast from where I live. But um my journey has humbled me. Um growing up in a rough neighborhood to now, um, I'm able to have life, learn life lessons and uh, apply that to my music, so. All right. And um, so when did you realize that you have a talent and a skill worth pursuing with rapping and singing? So um, my for just the background on me, um, I actually, when I was younger, um, as a kid, I had an aunt, my Aunt Bunny, she had me into like acting and we had, I auditioned to be on Steve Earl, on Family Matters. I was into all, like I was into the art, the art when I was younger. Um, then my father, he didn't like that. It was like, that's gay. You know what I'm saying? Like, why you got my son doing that stuff? You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I transitioned to playing sports, which I was really, really good at. Football, ran track, played basketball, wrestled really, really, really good at, in that. Um, so as an adult, adult, you know, I went to college, um, I played, thought I was going to go to NFL, um, and things didn't kind of turn out that way. You know, I was struggling with my sexuality, so I ended up quitting in college, uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, but still after that, I was getting back into my acting, to the modeling and stuff like that, um, so I kind of just like, you know what, since I, since I um, didn't make it with the sports, once the star is always the star. Mm-hmm. You know, so I started to write, just write poems and just write things in general, you know, get back into my writing. And then I transitioned that into my music. That's an uh, amazing mentality to have. And thank you for sharing that. Um, so what inspired you to create and develop musical artist bodyguard, Butch Queen Captain? Okay, because I, to be quite frank, I'm an 80s baby. I love 90s. I mean, I love music from back in the day you know right so I always listen to my favorite artist for one is Lil Kim and Notorious B.I.G okay so I grew up studying them so I always wanted to do music even as a kid I you, you can ask my mother my mother even knows who my favorite artist is she knows I love Lil Kim I was in a, actually in the locker rooms before the games where everybody else listening to Lil Wayne and Bone Thugs and, and 3-6 I'm listening to Lil Kim taking in the butt yes <laughs> like I'm, 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 I'm listening to that so um I literally just like finally got over my fear of saying you know when I moved to California which was in 2018 I'm like you know what I'm gonna go and put myself out there I know how to rap I know how to write there's other artists out there that's taking chances and people that I don't think that it's gr- that great, but they're out there <laughs> making it. So I'm like, I'm just going to take a chance. And that's what I did when I put out um, uh, my first track, which was Punchline. That's the first time I ever got in the studio. That was mm-hmm. the first song I ever wrote, like fully, like really wrote. So yeah. Oh, look, you got right. Pit. <laughs> yeah. I, I <laughs> this love is, This those. is Blue interrupting because he just What's up, Blue? Blue is a girl boy. You are. 
Okay. That's what it is. Oh, shoot, Blue, you about to mess up the church chicken. <coughs> Fantastic music. Thank you. Fantastic. And I'm not saying that as part of as a script because I gave it a listen and I really love your music. You got the bars, bro. You got the bars. Thank you, you know, and your sister style. <laughs> I'm like, like, it's so, like, so like fully entertained and everything like this it encompasses who you are like it just everything just comes together beautifully so um okay so fantastic music with videos and lyrical flow your 2021 album release is the mixtape bq captain yes. um please give our hashtag verse tv family a sip of hashtag all the tea on the development of this lyrical project and the overall message you're communicating so um so uh bq captain um is literally like my introduction to like the beginning of my life as a homosexual um so i kind of like all of those songs are literally like real life shit like dead ass like everything i'm rapping about is real life stuff and thoughts so um i just kind of was writing the music the, the 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 songs but also envisioning videos for it. So it's like, for me, I can't write a song or write some bars without visually seeing like how it would look in a video. Yeah. Um, so the whole process, I'm just like, when I was writing, I was angry a lot. I was angry, I was going through a lot. Um, so that's, the, when I say I'm the B, BQ captain, I'm like, at this point, I feel like I'm the shit. Like I'm, I'm, I'm confident in my sexuality at this point. Um, I don't really see any other rappers out there that's like me. Everybody else is like very flamboyant, which I have nothing against. I think it's amazing. But see me, I feel like um, I can be in many rooms with guys. I'm trying to, I'm not even battling against a fellow, our community. I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm shooting, I'm doing it for the community. I'm trying to get out there so I can battle these dudes, these, these heterosexual rappers and let them know I'm, I'm not only am I gay, but I'm also a rapper. I'm a rapper first before I'm gay, you know? Yeah. So with the whole process of BQ Captain, I wanted to show my skill level of bars, storytelling, mm -hmm. um, all of those things I learned from listening to Kim and Biggie, you know, like mm -hmm. literally. And I in, in the intro, I don't know if you heard it, but I actually sampled one of little Yeah, Kim's I heard interviews. a few samples. I was like, oh, I'm vibing with my man. Like, oh, is this a sample of Jay-Z? Like, yeah. Really? Like, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, what? Like, so, I, I was like totally vibing, vibing, like totally vibing, like you are massively skilled man and i i really enjoyed listening listening to the diversity in your music so um I, and and again like thank you so much for being here and taking the time to like you know really tell us what what it, what you're all about which i predicted to be um from what i heard and what i saw visually and everything and you know it's it, it all makes sense your sense of style all of that is just true to who you are it's oh, your yeah. truth and oh, it's, yeah. it's, 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 you, I'm never, compete. I'm never going like, to rap about your nothing. own lane. So how I'm about never that? going to rap about anything that I've never went through, you know, cause at the end of the yeah. day, um, I vision myself, like when I make it or even in general, when somebody asks me like, Oh, what, are, what, are you gay? Are you, the, you have to listen to my music. A lot of times, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm all for doing interviews. Like this is amazing, but it's mm -hmm. good that you actually listen because then, then I can, then you really know my story. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Like, of course, that's the, that's the artist story is what they write, what they, you know, because you're vulnerable at that point. You're, you're out for everyone to give an opinion of whatever they hear or, or project some type of judgment or anything. But, you know, clearly you are, you, you know, overall, I mean, your, your whole style, your whole sense of style, the way that you do everything, the things that you say in your music all encompasses you, who you are. And it's, and it, and it comes together beautifully. You, you're, you mastered it, man. Like, Thank I'm you. just, you know, like just kudos for real. I appreciate that. You, That's you like, did that. I appreciate that. You know why? Because I, I honestly, um, I'm very, I'm a hard critic on myself. That was mm -hmm. my very first project. I mean, a lot of people liked it, but in my mind, I'm thinking like, damn, it could have been engineered better. Like, you know, I'm just, in a, from an artist standpoint, you mm -hmm. know, I'm listening to things. I'm like, ooh, but I took notes. So my next project, which we'll, we'll talk about that later, like next year, I'm going to step it up even more, you know? So I okay. appreciate it. I'm glad That's that you like that. <laughs> yeah, pushing yourself to the next level, but you nailed it, man. You nailed Thank you. To, to, for someone who's, walking in their truth to nail who they are visually lyrically all of that and then you you're 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 sampling 
some of the greatest and you're you're i mean come on like anybody who listens to you and, and says otherwise is hating they hate it man i'm gonna tell you that right now wow. so all right so i'm gonna move on um because there's a secondary a secondary question to this topic Got so and and jamming and jamming to your outstanding project mm -hmm. bq captain Aaron, uh, Aaron Mack noticed a couple of lyrical innuendos. Okay. We're, uh, we're referencing the baby, who is a visually uh, visual guilty <coughs> pleasure of, of Aaron Max. Um, why the baby? And were your statements a lyrical foreshadowing slash prediction for the baby? Honestly, so you could find me on Instagram at B BQ Captain. Um, be, once again, Instagram BQ Captain uh, mm -hmm. on Twitter. My uh, Twitter name is Bodyguard Ant. Um, on YouTube, my YouTube channel is Bodyguard Ant as well. Um, yeah, so those are my my um, social media platforms right now. Oh, and also TikTok. I can't forget about TikTok. TikTok yeah. is also Bodyguard. I literally just got on TikTok. I'm still trying to learn it. <laughs>